Hello and welcome to Know Your School Night, the virtual edition. <laughs> so welcome to Theater Magnet. Um, it's great to have your students here in person this year, fully in person. Um, they're already doing such great creative work and I can't wait to just see what else they come up with this year. It's great to meet our new students. Um, it's great to have our old students that are it's already familiar with back in front of us. Um, you know, we're an art form that doesn't really translate very well to, to the virtual space. So it's so wonderful to have your students back with me here. Um, so if you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Amy Cooley. Uh, that's what I look like when I'm not wearing a mask. <laughs> um, I am the arts department here, at Bern arts department head here at Burnwood High School. Um, I'm also clearly the theater magnet teacher. Um, Mr. George Clevis is the theater technical teacher. Um, so when our forces combined, we are the theater magnet. Um, I got my BA in theater at UMass Amherst. Um, I got my master's in arts administration at the University of Kentucky. I have performed professionally acting, singing. Um, I've worked in the front of house for theater, so like box office, ushering. I've worked a lot in costume, in wardrobe teams, um, on tech crews. And so I've done it all and I really try to um, instill in our students that, you know, you want to be well-rounded as well when it comes to our our art form okay so a brief overview of the theater magnet it is a four-year program here at burncoat um, some of your students may have even taken it at the middle school level which makes it into the six-year program um, we cover everything in theater we are very very fortunate that we have a tech teacher because it is such a large part of the curriculum and to be able to have Mr. Kalibis here um, to actually offer the tech class puts our students at such a huge advantage. Um, so not only are they learning theater history, performance with me, playwriting with me, directing, acting, all of that, the classical stuff you think of, but they're also learning um, how to design and build and use power tools, um, how to use a drill. Um, and it's just such great skill set that they're not going to get in a lot of other classes. Um, we're hands on. That's the great thing about our magnet. You're learning with your hands um, and your bodies. And it makes it makes for a great, well-rounded, um, not just theater student, but student in general. Um, at the end of the program, our students are ready. Because they're so well-rounded, um, they're ready to enter college, a college theater program, um, a non-theater program in college. Uh, they're ready to go into the entertainment industry or to go right into their workforce. The skills that they learn here, skills like um, how to work for in a team, in a group, um, problem solving, creative thinking, um, communication, working on a deadline, all of those things that are so important in college, in the workforce. Things that, you know, may, might not be in your, those classic academic classes that you think about um, are learned here and are really developed here um, along with developing skills like empathy, which is so important moving forward um, in their lives or, you know, in high school, <laughs> empathy is also super important too. So that's the overview of our magnet. Um, the way it breaks down um, how they learn all these skills through their four years is um, in, in the class offerings that we have, which brings me to the next slide. So our course options. This kind of can get a little bit confusing for some people, but I'll break it down really easy for you. So as freshmen, we offer two half year courses that combine for a full year course for a full period. So your freshmen, as long as they are not um, 
Hanover students, they are taking our introduction to acting and history of theater. And that is during period two this year. They're sophomores. They are taking act, act and character study and playwriting. Those two half year classes combined for a full period. And then they add technical theater one. So in sophomore year, we become a double period magnet program, just like music and dance. And then in their junior and senior years, they're able to explore the pathways of theater that speak to them. So are they a performer? Are they a director? Um, are they someone who doesn't want to be in front of the audience, but wants to support backstage and wants to pursue um, technical theater? All of those options are available to them. So you can see they can take courses ensemble one and two, advanced acting one or two, directing one or two, tech theater two, and then our advanced technical theater course. Again, in junior and senior year, we are a double period option. So two periods a day, they can be here in the theater learning. Required materials. So for this class, they are always going to need their Chromebook, a pen and pencil, a highlighter, a paper, and their mask worn properly. Um, I do have extras of all of these items um, available in case they ever forget them or um, where they need them for any reason, I can supply them as well. But please, if you can, if you can provide them, please do so. All right, let's go on to the specific classes. Costume change. Um, so welcome to the period six class overview. This is for advanced acting one and two. So it's only one there, but it's for one and two. Um, most of your students um, were previously in the ensemble class earlier in the day. Um, we have two students that are just joining us for advanced acting. Um, welcome to those families. So just a quick overview, not touching on everything that we're going to do this year, but um, on the whole, the students in this class are learning to master their creative processes. So really understanding what is it that they do to create a character. Um, and then we're going to explore um, the evolution of modern acting and the various schools of acting. So really opening them up to identifying their creative process, but also understanding what the various big schools of acting teach as a creative process to see if that if they're finding any commonalities there and maybe that can help them dive even deeper to be able to create better characters and really take it to that advanced acting level. Um, we'll do a deep dive into a play study. And then the big thing in this class is students are required to perform for a formal audience. So that means a invited paying for a ticket audience at night. Um, the formal performance has not been formalized yet, uh, finalized, it's not been finalized yet, but it will definitely include a full length show that will be performed at night. Our Google Classroom. Um, to join our Google Classroom as a guardian and receive weekly reports, please type in, um, oh, is that right? Nope, that way. <laughs> There we go. The link below into your browser, bit.ly slash capital T theater and then capital N Y S N. Make sure you get those capitals in there. It is case sensitive. So type that into your browser um, and that'll bring you to a form that you can fill out. I'll take your info, load you in as a guardian, and you will get updated weekly um, like readouts of what's happening in the class and stuff like that. Let's go check out that Google Classroom now. Yeah. Hello, um, so this is the Google Classroom for Advanced Acting 1 and 2. Um, most of you who are here, had um, your student was also in the ensemble class or um, the directing class earlier. Um, so this class is where we are learning advanced acting techniques, clearly from the name alone. <laughs> um, so pushing your students to go beyond their normal process and, and learn some more and try and really um, strengthen those creative acting. Creating creative acting muscles.
sorry about that. Um, so again, the stream is where I use for um, announcements and um, the classwork tab is when they are, where you can find their units and um, all the assignments that we have been working on. If you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to reach out. Okay, so to end out our Know Your School Night, I always like to showcase our performance opportunities for the year. We started off the year by doing a one-hour version of Midsummer Night's Dream on October 2nd and 3rd. I hope you're able to make it. Um, it was an outdoor performance. And we have gotten a tentative go-ahead with indoor performances, so we are moving forward. Our fall show is called Paper or Plastic. It is a one-act play. Um, the show is going to be December 16th and 17th, um, and auditions are going to be December 13th and 15th. Um, all that information is in the classroom, and I have the information as well. Um, drama club. Our drama club is open to anybody in the high school, not just a theater magnet student. And what we do is we create a 40-minute show. We bring that to the state um, METG, the Massachusetts Educational Theater Guild's One Act Festival Competition. And that'll be on March 5th. We go somewhere in the state and we compete with our show. And then we're hoping that we can do a spring musical as well. That has not been announced yet. Um, when we know how things are kind of rolling out, how things are feeling and looking after the fall show, we'll probably, we will um, announce the spring musical. And then finally, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to me at any time. Um, my email is qlea at worcesterschools.net. Um, please feel free to call the main office and they can get in touch with me at 508-799-3300. And then for an extra help day, I'm pretty much here <laughs> all the time after school um, because of rehearsals. So basically just have your student check in with me and I will, if I'm not after school, if it's a rare day <laughs> that I am not after school at a rehearsal, I will make time for your student. Um, so I'm super flexible when it comes to that. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Know Your School Night. I hope it was informative, and I hope to see you all at our performances. Have a great night.